All right, today I've got a MRC Prodigy Wi-Fi, and what I want to do is I want to unbox this thing and go right directly to the hookup on it, and just to see if this thing is as easy as they say it is to hook up. So you can see what it includes here. This is the Wi-Fi module 1530 includes the module, an RJ45 connector, and some mounting screws. So I want to go ahead and open this up and then we'll plug it in. I've got my Prodigy Advanced Squared system set up. So we'll get this get this thing out of the box. And it's kind of hard to do. So there we've got it open. Comes all bubble wrapped up. Uh, there's a, that's our module for it. A couple little mounting screws there. There's our cable, just a normal cable. Nothing special. <laughs> and then... The only instructions that come with it is this little card. Plug RJ45 jack into the cab bus and Wi-Fi. Download the appropriate app. Now, I do already have the app on my phone because I use... Uh, I can use my JMRI and use this same throttle with my JMRI on the system I have with that. So... And then it just looks like we go to our settings on our on your phone, select the Wi-Fi network, open up the app, and we're ready to run. So let's uh, and on the back of the card it shows you the two uh, apps you can use: Y Throttle for Apple, Engine Driver for uh, Android. So let's plug this in. Uh, we'll unwrap our cord I really don't need to do that on on camera um, try and, okay I do have a standard throttle already plugged in I'm gonna go ahead and un unplug that we can plug this in anywhere that's plugged in We'll get this out of the bubble wrap. Here's our here's our module. We'll go ahead and plug our other end of our cable into that. Uh, let's see. I'll power power it up. Looks like we've got a couple of lights. So right now we've got our power. Of course, you can hear. You can hear my locomotive uh, fire up there. Uh, I've actually got the app on my phone. I've got it on a, a tablet. Let me get it on the tablet here. It'll be a little easier to see. And of course it's just uh, yeah, engine driver. It's really not a... Okay, you can see that there. I'll open that up. This is what it comes up to when you open the app up. And we'll hit connect. And it should. No, oh, I'm not following the directions. I've got to go to settings. And we'll have to find our network. Uh, let me see. Preferences. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not it. Um, nope. 
Let's see. Oh, come on, let me connect the engine driver. Play that. I'll go back to that. We'll hit our preferences. I am trying to find oh. well chalk one up for uh, not being uh, real bright here let me get out of this I've got to go to the Wi-Fi settings So, let me go to my Wi-Fi settings. Okay, I'm gonna kind of you can see it right there. Our MRC Wi-Fi. We'll connect to that, and it came up there. You can see that's connected. Okay, let me go back. I'll open up our engine driver. Okay, now, so we've got our MRC Wi Fi. Let's hit the select it. All right, so. We want to select our loco, and what we can do is press to select. We want to hit our address. The address for this locomotive is 5642. We'll see if we can find it. There we've got it. And let's see. There's our bell. There's our horn. And you really can't see the light because I've got my overhead lights on. Uh, we will... Let's see. There's our forward and reverse. So, right here is our throttle. You can hear that ramp up. And this is an ESU decoder, so it will have the drive hold function. You can hear it start to ramp up. There we are. Yeah. I'm going to take that back down. Release our drive hold. So, that, uh, that is it. <laughs> As you saw, the one big problem was just, uh, me forgetting where the settings were, were on my uh, tablet. So, but other than that, that is straight out of the box and easy to easy to get started with. So I think I'll end this uh, end this here. Okay, I just came back and I wanted to kind of add add to this. Uh, when you go in, I know there were some questions before, and this module is actually for our club, the Clarksburg Area Model Railroad Club, and 
before we decided to get this, we had a few questions, and one of them was, if you're using this Wi-Fi system, and anyone can download the app and put it on their phone, could somebody come into your club and start controlling your trains or your uh, routes or accessories? And the, the simple answer to that is, yes, they could. Um, now, what you can do uh, is you can go in up here to your uh, preferences button or your settings button, and you can go to uh, your pre well, there I messed up. It's not your preferences. You can go to your MRC settings, and this will let you number your cabs. Uh, of course, I don't really think anybody should program with this system. This is basically, I think, just for controlling, running your trains. If anybody needs to program a locomotive to put on the, on the track, you should really uh, do that with the handheld or with JMRI. And for us at the club, we'd have to use a handheld. But what you can you can so you would set this cab number to two or above because the only one that can use uh, the only play, way you can program is with cab one but anyway but the so what you can do is you can go ahead and you can pick a cab number you can turn your uh, track power on and off allow accessory controls and you can go in and you can set passwords. So let me go back to this. I'm not going to go through and set up any passwords or anything. But network settings, you can go through and you can set up a, a password on your on your network. Just, just, just like you do at home if you have a Wi-Fi network. Go ahead and, and set your password. That way... Somebody can't just walk in off of the street with the engine driver app and start controlling. Uh, so, you know, you you can set up a roster with this. You can add locos, what, whatever you want to do. There's a, there are a lot of different functions. You can set up accessories. Uh, there's help functions. You reset everything. So... Really, I think this would be a, a pretty safe system for a club layout, and it will allow you up to eight users. So, I, you know, that's just a quick overview, and I'm not going to set any of this stuff right now because, like I say, this is the clubs. Uh, and we, we probably won't need to set up a, <clears throat> a password or anything, but just in case we do, there is the ability... We do have the ability to do that. I just wanted to kind of throw that in. And then e even, you know, there are other preferences. You can go down through, you can set a, a name for your throttle. If I wanted to name this uh, this pad a, a certain name, you know, C-A-M-R-C Club Throttle. You can do that. You can go through, it'll ask you what orientation portrait landscape auto rotate you know in, any of that uh, different themes show an emergency stop button layout power you can do a fast clock uh, how many throttles do you want to display and that that's display on this on the screen of this device so there are a number a lot of different options that you have with this system now granted this is the Android system I don't know I haven't used the uh, the throttle for the uh, Apple devices but you can use any any phone any Apple phone um, 
any iPad, so, you know, ad, show address name or loco address name. So there are a myriad of different options here. And I would say that if you uh, are thinking about this system, if you use the MRC system for uh, control of your club layout or even your home layout, you know, just so you can, you don't you wouldn't have to go and buy another throttle. Uh, it's a really really simple system to use and you know I'm I'm not endorsing one system over the other because I have I have two I have the MRC and I have an NCE but uh, as for plug-and-play uh, th this will get you what you want to do and you can use any device that you already have. It doesn't have to be a new device. It can be an old device. So, but I think I'll, I'll stop there. Uh, the one question I have is probably about range. I'm not sure what the range is on this. I think the instructions say 80 feet. Or what I've read online say 80 feet. Uh, so, you know, I, I think that'll be plenty. But, uh... We'll get this to the club here at some point. Uh, it'll be this week. And we'll hook this up, and then we'll have several operators, and we'll, we'll try it and see what happens. So, uh, thanks for watching.